Hello, welcome to Terry Story 7, and today we'll be reviewing this, which is the Batman Arkham Knight DC Comics Multiverse Scarecrow, and I'm really happy to be reviewing this. Uh, my last review was, was of the DC Comics Multiverse um, Two-Face, and I'm really just happy to be reviewing this line. I really have come to love it. I was not expecting to, as I've said in my past videos, but the molding is really good on these figures, and the detail is really good for such small scale. They've done a great job, and I cannot wait to review this character. So up here we have Adult Collector, and then we have Highly Detailed and uh, Authentic on this side. Then we have Arkham Knight, Batman Arkham Knight, right here, DC Comics Multiverse here. On this side, we have an image of the Scarecrow, and he does look really good and scary right there. And then over here, we have Arkham Knight. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah. And then we have this queer view of the Scarecrow, and um, like on my Two-Face video, this was also, it had uh, like some sort of Easter thing on it. So yeah, that's why that's on there. But yeah, I've been, I tried to get up, but it was hurting the packaging, so I'm just going to leave it on. Anyways, over here, we have DC Comics Scarecrow, and then DC. Comics written here. I'm not sure if that's popping up on the camera. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Um. So on the back we have this image of Scarecrow, and he does look really scary. I'm really glad he's back. And um. Well, for the game, I mean. But yeah. And down here we have DC Comics Scarecrow. Um. Real name Dr. Jonathan. C Dr. Jonathan Crane. You know he's a Scarecrow, and he has the fear toxin. And then um. Over here we have the Red Hood, Batman, and Two Face of the um, new characters available in this wave. And over here we have the DC Comics Multiverse bio on like why the line exists, and then Batman Arkham Knight written here. Now I'm gonna open him and we'll take a look. So I'm actually really glad that they've announced Scarecrow is coming back for Arkham Knight because I I don't believe he was in Arkham City. I always wondered after what happened in Arkham Asylum, would he be back? Like, um, at the ending, he pops up soon to the painter. Well, depending on which, like, on which level you played. Because I think they said that, um, it was different for, like, I think if you played on easy, you saw Scarecrow, medium, killer clock, and, like, hard, you saw Bane at the end of it. But I don't know. Like, I might have gotten that wrong. I believe Scarecrow was on the easy one, though. I don't know about killer clock and Bane. But I know, like, one of, it was one of those three. Scarecrow out of the box, I am really honestly impressed with this, and, um, it's, his cape, like, seeing back here, is rubbery, but it's very flexible and does feel good, and, yeah, I'll start off with the head, but it is really neat. The mask does look a lot like Scarecrow's, um, it's really creepy looking, actually, and as you can see, he has that little mouth bit with the little lines going down, really creepy down there, and then we have these two things here which um kind of remind me of gas mask i think that's what he uses so he doesn't like um uh, take in the fear toxin but we also have this hood which is of the same material of the cape it feels like and it's really nicely done and down here we have these wires that are really really realistic and these um canisters which hold his fear toxin they have done an amazing job on this the detail is just perfect on the arms um it's uh let's see yeah, it's basically kind of basic, like we do have a trap going here, and then on this, we have like this little glove, and then he has these finger gloves, which only, um, they like, what's the word, I know like what these are called, I just can't ever remember their name, but they're those kind of gloves, they don't like have fingers on the, or no, they have fingers, but they don't like have things to protect your fingers, they're really weird if you ask me. I don't really like the design of them, but, well, not on him, I just meant in general those kind. But, over here on this side, we have this little, um, straps and this silver bit here, and then we have this silver thing, and, like, his little claw arm, which has been done really nicely. I really do like that, and I believe that's what he uses to, um, inject the fear toxin, if I'm correct. I'm probably not, though, so do not take my advice on that. And he has this silver strap here and here on his arm, and, um, they've done an amazing job on this character, I really do like him. And then he has this belt, which, I hope that is coming up on camera, it has a little silver thing here, and then just little pockets all the way around, and on the back, um, what's really impressive is, they've got this wire going, like, going around from the front to the back, and they've done a nice job on it, and the wires do go up to even underneath the hood. And, like, um, just a lot of really nice detailing. You can, it's kind of like one queer piece, so like, you, or not queer, but you can kind of tell it's one piece. But, yeah, it still really works well for this figure, and I'm, I'm really surprised. Like, it just feels really nice. 
and the um, articulation, you can still get a 360 at the head, which is really impressive, depending on the fact that he has so many wires, like, around him and stuff, and he has a 360 at the arm, bendability at the elbow, his, um, he can swing out, and, uh, yeah, and then he also has a 360 on this arm, I'm not sure about the other arm, but I think he does. Yeah, he does. Anyways, um, torso articulation, 360 degrees, and he's not also restricted by this, which is a really nice thing, because most of these toys are not Scarecrow in general, but I mean, like, just several things. And the legs can kick out and semi-back, but not a lot of these characters can kick back, so it's about standard. And his legs can also kick out, also not hindered by the cape, because it's rubbery material, which is a very nice touch. And then also his legs have these the same little wires running down, and then this leg has these little straps. Just want to point that out. And his boots are brown, and they've done a really nice job on this boot because his um like things hanging down like the top of his boot, and that's really nice because this one um is just like folded up, so it's nice we're not getting the same remolded piece. But the legs do bend um 360 at the thigh, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to see if it can turn. And then bendability, and no, nothing past that. But, so, overall, he's really, really good on articulation, and just, um, in general. And nursing about these characters, they stand well. That's a really good thing for 3.75-inch action figures. And here's him beside Batman from Arkham Origins, and Joker from Arkham Origins, and then Two-Face from Arkham Knight, and hopefully that is popping up on the camera, and then Scarecrow from, or not Scarecrow, Arkham Knight from Arkham Knight. That sounds really weird when you say Arkham Knight from Arkham Knight. Anyways, but yeah, I do really love the Scarecrow figure. I love this line. The detail is great. It doesn't feel like it's about to fall apart, and I really love just all of the additions. Um, they're really good. If I had to choose a favorite from this line, I would probably say Batman, because he's just really nice. I do love how they did his cape, like, with the lettery material-ish. And But probably on favorite villain, it would be a tie between Two-Face and Scarecrow. This line is amazing. I will probably do more views on this line in the future. I was not expecting to love it like I did. It's just a really perfect line, and I do recommend you pick this up. But another cool thing is, if you're not a fan of the Arkham games, they make things based on the Batman 89 movies, or, um, like, the Superman movies from from the 80s, like late 70s, early 80s, so they do a ton of stuff if you're not a fan of this certain game series in particular, but yeah, so um, my next review, I believe, will be Amy Pond from Doctor Who Wave 5, uh, Wave 5, Wave 3, 3.75 inch action figures, so thank you for watching, please rate, like, and subscribe, and have a good day.